Hey YouTube, what's going on? I know most people are posting their free comic book day hauls from this past weekend. I do have one of those, um, but this I want to do a quick video before I put these books away. Are just some of the modern stuff I've been picking up, reading, picking up, and picking up and reading. Um, I got some, some actually some indie books, mostly Marvel, a couple of DC books. I do the, I don't say indie stuff, but I don't think. Image is so much indie anymore. I think they're pretty, pretty much one of the top publishers. But uh, this, I picked this on a whim at the shop. It was a brand new number one issue. This is from a few weeks ago, a few weeks, a few months ago, should should say. Um, this is Aftershock Shock Project Patron. It's like a Superman type story with Doomsday or the. Um, superhero dies um, and then they kind of make like a robot version of him or like an android version of him, something like that um, to keep playing the role that's what I got the first issue honestly they came out God, a while back never found any of the ones at my local shop but this past um, weekend free comic book day the store that I went to had their more recent back issues 25% off cover price so I picked up issues 2 Issues three and issue four. I haven't obviously I haven't read any of these yet ahead of time. Issue five is the current issue. I think I believe just came out this past week or last week rather. Um, didn't have it at the store, but I'm sure eventually I'll pick it up. Jupiter's Legacy Requiem one and two. Um, bought all the original stuff when it first came out. Loved it. I actually enjoy the TV show. Um, wish they didn't cancel, but I think they, they try to cram too much into into it, and I guess they kind of went over budget. <laughs> but uh, haven't read these yet, uh, so when I get a chance to, I will. I think I find those are better off reading when you have a, a big chunk of books rather than one at a time, like most things nowadays. This I get another thing just picked up on a whim, time before time, issue one. Thought it was interesting enough to keep reading. Um, so issue two, not sure where it's going. I'm not sure if it's a mini or series or what, but uh, yeah, first three issues, yeah, not so bad. This one's been hit or miss for me. Um, some some of these issues are, are pretty well. Some are really short, and don't really do much. But uh, Silver Coin, issue one. Uh, this is issue two. Issue three. Like I said some of these issues are good. Some are like you're reading like three minutes. It's like that's it. But I think for the most part, it's been it's been pretty interesting. Four and the last one I like this cover, number five. So I guess that that's all they had planned originally, I suppose, for the for the first volume or for the whole thing. But apparently now they're they're gonna make it more of an ongoing. This I saw in a previous guide. It looked just stupid enough for me to pick it up. <laughs> I believe this is a mini series. I'm not sure how many issues, but I actually picked. I think this is my first Dark Horse book I think I ever had on my pull list. Um, but this is the worst dudes. It makes no sense. Um, <laughs> it's just one of the stupid things he's got to read. Um, issues one, two, and issue three. Yeah, something fun and stupid to read. Um, this book is probably. I saw this. And I picked it up, and I'm so glad I did. I don't even know what this is upshot. I don't even know what it's from, but I saw it. It's number one. I figured, why not? This is not all robots. This was awesome. So I got definitely got to put this on my pull list. I don't know if it's a, how it's a miniseries or ongoing or whatever, but this is really interesting. Really, really interesting. I, don't, I haven't watched the videos lately, so I don't know if people have, have picked this up, but if you have, it's great. I don't recommend many books. But so far, so so good. Every time I recommend a book, they cancel it. So I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't recommend any books lately. DC stuff I picked up: Superman and the Authority. Um, this is the cover I picked up. The other one was okay. I like that one. This one also had two covers. But this is the one I kind of liked. Um, blue and gold. Big Booster Gold fan. So I had to pick this up. 
So yeah, so those are DC stuff I picked up. Marvel stuff that I've read. I'm not going to bore you too much of these, um, but I've read the the Heroes Reborn uh, series. There's one through seven of those. I didn't pick up all the the other offshoots of it, but I picked up the the Marvel du Double Action. I picked up the American Knights. Siege Society and Weapon X in Final Flight. So yeah, pick those up. I know some other ones. Um, I'll probably pick those up when I find them cheap. Of course, I had to get then and we started with the uh, Heroes Return. I got that, and I had to have this cover. This is the uh, the variant, the super villain Captain America cover. Love that. This came out a while ago. This is Captain America Annual. I didn't plan on picking up any of this, this uh, Infinite Destinies um, run or whatever you want to call it through all the annuals. But then I started looking into them I'm like, yeah, why not? So I've been finding them when I can. So that's that's the book two. Book one was the Iron Man issue, which I didn't get because it came up the same time as that one. But I picked up the Black Cat one. This is the variant edition. Apparently there's just some connecting covers with the, must be with the rings or whatever. Um, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 2. This is book 4 of 8. So it's 2, 3, 4. Um, Thor is was book 5. Book 6, I think, is Miles Morales. Comes out relatively soon. And I said I missed the, the, the Iron Man issue, but then I was at Walmart and I happened to see a 3-pack with this in it. So I said, eh, what the hell, i got to pick it up. So... This is book one of this of the of the annual series, but then also when that pack was um, Power Pack Outlawed issue three and Gwenum versus Carnage variant edition number three. So that was in there. All I care about was the Iron Man book. Um, I'm also reading. Well, Captain America finally came to an end. That's like 30, 30, 30 was the last issue, I believe. So yeah, love that. Enjoyed that, obviously. But then the uh, United States of Captain America came out. Issues one and two. So reading that, interesting. See where it's going to go. I don't know. Like anything nowadays, you really know where it's going to go. So, But it's Captain America, so you know I'm going to read it. So yeah, that's all of the stuff that I'm reading, if you cared. <laughs> Um, like I said, it's a couple things I haven't read yet. Oh, I did have another book. Where'd it go? Mm. Where's one other book? Must not be that important. Well, anyways, it's the Defenders issue. I bought the first issue of the new Defenders run. Started reading that the other day, and I was dozing off, so I put it down. I figured I'd pick it up again some other time. Um, it's here somewhere, but... You don't need to see it. There was a shitload of covers. I just picked the one that I kind of liked. So that's all. So I want to get these. I want to do a quick video, get these books put away, and I'll come back in a little bit. And I'll do my um, free comic book day haul. So yeah, that's all. See you next one. Thanks. Bye.